I'm Sean Brenneman with Syngenta Seeds, and today we're going to bring you another of the multi-pest complex insects, fall armyworm. This field of corn was planted late, and this is actually a perfect target, a tropic pest, for fall armyworm. What happens is the moths will overwinter down in the U.S. and Mexico and fly up here through winds and storm fronts, probably in that uh, late July, early August time frame. Moths have laid eggs in this field and from these eggs of 50 to 100 egg masses the larvae have come out and they're very very voracious. They'll, you can see here these, there's probably one larva that's fed on this plant leaving a lot of frass and they just keep leaving these ragged marks on the corn plant and keep eating until later on when the silks develop they'll go back down to the, the uh, ear of the plant and feed there. We'll peel back the leaves on this plant that's been eaten and here we find the larva down in that whirl and he's just continuing to get larger and larger and feeding until later on when he'll pupate. Fall armyworm can be distinguished by these stripes along their body. They can be various colors from a tan to a dark color and often they'll have an inverted Y on their head. That's how you can distinguish them from the other multi-pest complex such as corn earworm and common armyworm. These larvae will continue to feed on this plant until probably the silks come out and then they'll move down to the, that succulent ear and feed on the ear and, and causing ear damage and bringing other molds and mycotoxins into the plant. While large-scale infestations in corn don't usually occur, we'll often find pockets in fields where fall armyworm have been feeding, re causing reduced yield and bringing in other mycotoxins, reducing the quality of those plants.